Fiery Flashes in the Night Have you ever looked up on a dark night to see light streak across the sky? From ancient times, these falling stars have evoked both awe and dread. The ancient San people from the Malati foothills in southern Africa thought the streaks of light were powerful shamans journeying between the earth and spirit realms. We now know that they are the fiery death of rocks from space, called asteroids, as they plunge to earth. If large enough, the rock may split into parts, each part exploding in the sky, as recorded in this San rock painting, Sea Arrows. Here are asteroids in the middle solar system, tracked by the Minor Planet Center at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. Planet orbits are cyan. Near-Earth asteroids, defined as those with orbits less than 1.3 times the size of Earth's orbit, are red, others green. Symbols are exaggerated so they can be seen. Space is so vast that standing on an asteroid in this asteroid swarm, you would see only empty space. Take a ride on Earth in 2007 and see near-Earth asteroids that came within 12.4 million miles of Earth. Asteroids range in size from grains of sand to the size of small moons. Asteroids larger than a football field, whose orbits take them closer to Earth than 19.5 times the distance between Earth and Moon, are tagged potentially hazardous asteroids. These giants pose no current threat to Earth. Still, giant asteroids have hit Earth in the past, so we keep a close watch on them. Their positions relative to Earth are calculated well into the 22nd century. Two billion years ago, before the dawn of humankind, an asteroid three to six miles, or five to ten kilometers across, fell near Friedefort in South Africa. Its impact made a crater 160 to 190 miles, or 250 to 300 kilometers wide, the largest known impact crater on Earth. Evidence for powerful shockwaves from its impact are still visible in this satellite picture of circular ridges emanating from the crater center. Most asteroids that collide with Earth are small. They burn up in the atmosphere, ending their lives as brilliant streaks of light in the sky. Fragments of somewhat larger asteroids that survive the fiery plunge to Earth are called meteorites. Meteorites are found around the globe, but from the fragment alone we cannot tell when or from what direction it struck the Earth, making it hard to determine where it came from in the solar system. That all changed October 6, 2008 with the discovery of 2008 TC3, an SUV-sized asteroid, 7 to 16 feet across, 19 hours before it entered Earth's atmosphere. The alternating pattern of bright and dim reflected light showed the asteroid was tumbling on its journey through space. Observations of 2008 TC3's orbit allowed astronomers to predict the time and point of impact. 859 observations from around the world tracked 2008 TC3's descent from space to its impact in the Nubian Desert in northern Sudan. October 7, 2008, in the early dawn over northern Sudan, asteroid 2008 TC3 plunged into Earth's atmosphere and exploded 23 miles, or 37 kilometers, above the ground, leaving behind a twisted, high-altitude tail. The explosion was imaged by Meteosat 8, a European weather satellite and the impact recorded by ground sensors. At Station 6 railway stop, called Almahata Sitta in Arabic, in the Nubian desert, eyewitnesses reported seeing the flash. Two months later, Professor Muawiya Shadad and his students from Khartoum University, aided by Dr. Peter Jeniskins from the SETI Institute and NASA Ames Research Center, headed a search for the asteroid fragments. Only two hours after the search began, Student Mohammed Alamin found the first tiny meteorite. 280 meteorites, weighing in total 11 pounds or 5 kilograms, were recovered in the initial search. Despite the meteorite's small sizes, typically 1 to 3 inches or 2.5 to 8 centimeters in diameter, their dark color makes them visible against the lighter desert sand. Today, more than 600 Almahata Sitta meteorites, named in honor of Railway Station 6, are being studied by research teams around the world with permission from Khartoum University and the Almahata Sitta Consortium. So why are the Almahata Sitta meteorites so special? For the first time, planetary scientists connected meteorites with their precise location of origin in the solar system. 
The unusual mix of minerals found in the Almahata Sitta meteorites suggest asteroids, like 2008 TC3, are also evolving in time through a complex history of low velocity collisions after their birth. For us today, much like in ancient times, these bits of stone connect two realms, Earth and space. They tell us about physical conditions in the solar system when Earth was formed and how our solar system is changing over time. The better we understand our own solar system, the better we are able to understand not only our origins, but also the origin and evolution of newly discovered planetary systems around other stars.